Hey guys, welcome back to another nest with me video. I use the word nest very loosely as I do not think I'm nesting because I have zero energy and I have to force myself to do all this stuff. But nonetheless, when I'm feeling good, I try to get myself in the nursery to be sorting and organizing and decorating. So that's what today's video is. If you missed the first part, I will link it up in the corner. We just recently had our drive-by baby shower, so I'm sorting all the gifts and we got a lot of clothes, so I'm sorting those into the sizes and in the drawers. So lots of time lapses and sorting and organizing if you're into that. I also want to thank Hoover for sponsoring this video. We're going to be using one of their automatic carpet cleaners a little bit later on and I'll tell you more about it then but let's go ahead and get into it. So if you watched our baby shower vlog um, I opened all the well we when we opened all the presents but then I sorted everything into two different baskets so clothes to be washed which we did all the baby laundry and then um, other things like bath items diapers water wipes all that kind of stuff books toys whatever so then we just kind of had both um, uh, laundry baskets sitting in here so we decided let's get to it so in these clips, I am sorting all of the clothes into different sizes. Oh, we were trying to get Ludo to hold a pacifier in his mouth. <laughs> Don't worry, we will sterilize these still. It didn't work out. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is what these clips are, is so sorting clothes into different sizes so that we can organize them better. Um, at this point, I had not ordered the drawer organizers that I wanted, so it was just kind of a, just a mess. But um, yeah, so I'm just organizing clothes into piles, and then I also am putting um, the swaddles and blankets, I roll them up and put it in that little gray basket that I got from Target. So yeah, just sorting. Then just to get everything kind of up and off the floor, we shove things into drawers, which don't worry, we're going to reassess this in this video. Um, and if you just saw Ludo, he crawled under the crib. He loves to be under the crib, which is so cute. Um, so yeah, we were just putting everything in these drawers and then we have that little strawberry uh, like basket that I got at Home Goods that we we're gonna put all of the um, toys that we got for him in. Um, here are some of the teething toys. How amazing are these? They're Nintendo controllers. I also love this stuffed bell pepper. Um, whatever I can link, oh my god, Ludi. Whatever I can link down below, I will. But Ludo's gonna be so confused with all the toys that aren't for him, it's so sad. Um, but yeah, we're just putting all the toys in that little basket for now, because I don't really know when he's gonna want toys. I'm putting all the toiletries, just stacking those in the bathroom, and I'll get to those later. We are totally stocked for bath time, which I'm excited about. He also got a lot of bath toys, which are so cute. Just Mickey and friends, some random ones from Target, and then also Pooh and friends. So I'm just taking all those out of the cases. We got this little basket at um, Target, I think we got it at. I wanted something that had kind of aeration so that the toys could dry out after they, you know, are in the bath water so they don't get gross. But yeah, I thought that worked out pretty cute. And I love bath toys. I just could stare at this all day. I think it's so fun and colorful. <laughs> Then it was time to clean the carpets. We want to replace the carpets up here, but we're just probably not gonna get around to it before the baby comes like we thought. So, wanna thank Hoover again for sponsoring this video. We are using their Pet Complete Automatic Carpet Cleaner to deep clean our carpets today, and it is fantastic. Even Ludo is excited even though it's a vacuum and he's very scared of vacuums. This is the Smart Wash Pet Complete Automatic Carpet Cleaner. It's very easy to use. All you do is fill up that thing you just saw with water. Then you take the solution. We are using the Renewal Deep Clean and Restore solution. It smells so good. And there's a little um, compartment on the back that you just pour that into. Bradley's spilling so much on the counter. <laughs> um, so you just put clip that right in. And then it's literally as easy as vacuuming, which I think that's what their slogan is, like deep cleaning as easy as vacuuming. And which Bradley said, this is so easy and effective. I could do, I should do it once a month because it just is literally vacuuming. So basically it sprays your water or sprays your carpet with water. And then as it pulls back, it sucks out all the water and the dirt and all that stuff. And it collects, oh, Bradley loves it so much. He's busted out some dance moves, so. Wow. But anyway, what I was saying is that it collects everything so that you can see it. Oh, Ludo's so scared. He's like, nope, no more vacuum for me. So he came back to my lap. Um, but it collects all the dirt water. So it's very satisfying in the end to see like what you kind of collected. And it just works so well. Our carpets looked so amazing after using this. They felt better. 
the solution smells really good. It's nothing too strong. And something I really appreciate about it is that it, the carpet isn't wet for a while. It's probably like 30 minutes to an hour of dry time and then you're good to go to walk on it. So I tried to get close ups so you could see, but you just spray it, the water forward, and then as you pull it back, it sucks it back in and it just is so satisfying and truly does an amazing job. It also has a spot cleaning wand, so it's perfect if you have pets, like my terrified, <laughs> look at him, he's so scared of it. It's okay, Ludi. Um, but it's perfect if you have any sort of pet and they have some sort of accident, you can pre-treat that with the um, spot cleaning wand but it's just truly the best. So if you want to check this out on their website, it's currently on sale. I will have a direct link down in the description box and you can check it out. Here's our dirty water in the end. I saw somebody on TikTok call this the forbidden chai tea, which is so gross, but so funny. Um, but yeah, in the end, you just dump everything out, give everything a rinse, let it dry, and it's that easy. So yeah, I, we love this thing. Thank you again to Hoover for sponsoring this video. And here's Bradley's nastified face from what we collected from our rugs. It's so gross. <laughs> then on a different day, you may have seen before, but we got this dresser for the baby's room. It's actually from Potter, mm, can't speak, Pottery Barn Kids. It's really nice quality. We were tired of just all the crappy furniture we've been buying and it comes and it's just crappy. And you can tell I still own my Pottery Barn dresser from when I like was in seventh grade and it's held up so well. So I was like, let's check out Pottery Barn. So we got this and we are loving it. I love the way it looks. My only complaint is that the drawers don't open enough. Like, you know what I mean? Like they need to open wider so you can use the full drawer, but that's okay. So I cleaned off the top with my wood for good cleaner and now I'm just going to decorate it a little bit. So I have this snake plant and then I have some crystals. I mentioned in a home haul that I wanted a big chunk of obsidian to protect him from negativity. And then I also have some orange calcite, which I believe mostly is for creativity. So I don't know how creative he'll be right out of the womb, but he'll be prepared when he needs to be. <laughs> but I just liked the way all these colors looked together. I love this planter. I believe I got it at Hobby Lobby a while ago with intentions of putting a snake plant in here. Um, snake plants are very air cleansing. So I definitely want him to have a few plants and some greenery in there. Ludo is of course with me, but he's under the crib. And then on the other side of this, I put my little owl diffuser. This is from Young Living. I've been wanting this for so long, but I was like, I don't have a child, so I can't get it. But now I will have a child, so he can use this in his room. And I just decided to, to diffuse myself some oil, which I haven't been doing, but the last like week or two, I have felt like diffusing again, and it's really nice. I kind of just like, it's one step closer to feeling like myself again. <laughs> um, so I put in a little bit of peace and calming for me as I was preparing to fold a bunch of clothes. And this acts as a night light and a diffuser, so it doesn't have to be diffusing to turn on the light. So that's awesome if you want to use this as your kid's night light as well. Um, but it also has all the different rainbow color settings. It's so cute. And I just, I think it's called the feathers diffuser. Um, so yeah, I totally love it. Then it was time to do some organizing. So I ordered these drawer organizers off of Amazon. I will link them down below. I love them. They're made out of fabric and they just zip together so you can break them down and have them lay flat. Um, so I made some, I realized they don't fit in the frickin' first drawer, which was annoying, but it's actually okay because I really like the way my organization turned out, which I don't think I gave you a full tour of it in the end in this video, but I will eventually when I give you a full nursery tour when everything's done. Um, so I just zipped up a bunch of them and kind of laid out how I want the drawer to be organized before I got started folding. Um, cause I have so many different sizes and I know that babies grow out of things so quickly, so we don't have a ton of one thing. Um, so I kind of broke it up into sizing. How cute is that? It's so cute. So I don't have very many newborn things because I got the tip multiple times that it's better to get zero to three month things instead of a lot of newborn, but we do still have some newborn. So I'm just sorting them into newborn and then zero to three. How cute is that? My mom got him that. <laughs> zero to three little jumpers, sleepers, and then we have different compartments for shirts, pants, shorts, like these Winnie the Pooh shorts. Are you kidding me with that on the butt? Um, little beanies, his socks. So it's very organized. And I looked up the Marie Kondo method on how to fold baby clothes because with just the tight space and all the little tiny pieces, I figured this was the best way to see everything and not have everything get totally lost. And just, we don't have a ton of space in this nursery. It's pretty small, so I had to get a small um, dresser, so I just want to maximize the space and uh, who, see, who knows if we'll be able to keep this up, but I did want to also keep the top of this dresser clear so that I can fold his laundry on it later on in life. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just folding up clothes. To be honest, it was really hard to get comfortable while doing this, so I did most of it on the bed because I just cannot stand these days, you guys. My pelvis feels like it's gonna fall out of my ass, but yeah, I'm just rolling up clothes and organizing them in the drawer. So here's a sneak peek of the newborn to three month drawer. Um, so we are ready and prepared for when he gets home. We got socks, shirts, pants, sleepers, just onesies. And I love the way that um, this worked out because I can see everything. All the prints make me so happy. And yeah, hopefully I have the stamina to keep this up after he's born, which probably I won't, but <laughs> we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. But it's gonna be so easy to pull from when I'm looking for something specific, so yeah. And then I even changed up the organization of this drawer since filming this. How amazing is this little bib? It says Greedy for Love. Greedy's my favorite Ariana Grande song. <laughs> I just died. My friend made that for me. Um, so I put little bandanas and bibs in there. And then I also wanted somewhere to put all the passies, which I still need to sterilize and we still have more coming. But I'll show you that drawer in the nursery tour. And then I had a few things that needed to be hung up. So I ordered some baby hangers on Amazon. Again, I will link whatever I can down below. And I just hung up all of his little jackets, pretty much anything with a hood I did not want to put in the drawers or like more stiff things like overalls that should be hung up. So I did that. And he doesn't have many hung up things, but I'm sure it will grow. And then lastly, we ordered a rocker. We got this on Walmart. I looked for a long time and I hated all of the gliders I was seeing. I just, they weren't my style. I hated them, but I found this one and I love it. And then I realized that I love it because it looks like Cherry from Pee Wee, which any Pee Wee fans out there, I love Pee Wee's Playhouse. So once I discovered that, I was like, yes, I love this thing. So Bradley is assembling it for us. Um, so here's like a little time lapse of him assembling it. Also, this is the front room in our house. I am going to do a kind of like around the house vlog update situation to show you some of the things we've done with decorating and new pieces we got. So stay tuned for that because that'll be up probably next week. Um, but yeah, Bradley's just assembling the rocker for us and I did have footage of us putting it in the nursery and kind of rearranging things But some the, that one file got corrupt so I don't have that anymore But that's okay because I kind of hate what we did with it in the video and I like how we have it more now So I will be doing another nest with me video um, We actually placed a really big target order kind of fulfilling everything else we needed so we are officially, well, we're not ready for baby, but everything has been ordered. So we just have to organize and assemble everything and then we'll be ready. But yeah, we've got the rocker. We also have a um, changing table coming and then that should be it for furniture. So I will definitely do another one of these videos very soon. And then I loved this footage so much. Bradley was testing out the rocking chair and Ludo decided, well, let me test that out with you. And he just jumped right up and it's just so sweet and his little tail wagging. I'm literally so excited to see Ludo and the baby just bond and be together. And I just, it's something we talk about a lot and I truly cannot wait. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I, I did a first part. I'll have that link down below and I will do a third part and then hopefully a nursery tour when everything's done. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Love you. Bye.